Have you ever noticed that some GLP-1 compounds include B6 or B12 and you've wondered why? So let's talk about why these might be in your medication and what it means for you. I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 advocate. So I help people get access to GLP-1s that can't get them through traditional insurance. So if you need help with that, there are some links right over here to get you started. So first thing, additives are not usually in a GLP-1 compound to make it stronger. They're usually there to help support some of your side effects or symptoms. First up, let's talk about B6. B6 is usually associated with helping support nausea and GI discomfort. So it's usually added if people are having a lot of issues with their stomach. B6 is gonna be colorless if it's in your compound, so it's not gonna change what your compound looks like. Next up is B12. Now B12 does a couple different things. It's associated with helping to make red blood cells, helping with energy and fatigue, and supporting your nervous system. So if you're one of those people who has a lot of GLP-1 related fatigue, your provider might consider adding B12 to your regimen. Just know that most forms of B12 are naturally red. And so when it's added to your compound, it will make the solution look red or pink. That is totally expected and hundred percent okay. Both B12 and B6 are water soluble vitamins, meaning that your body doesn't store up extra quantities of them. So you just pee out what you don't use. But these shouldn't be automatic ads to your compounds. Personalized medicine really means that your provider should be taking feedback about how you feel and then taking that feedback and adjusting your medication accordingly. Some people feel good with fewer additives. Some people feel good when they have some additional support. People have been asking me about pure GLP-1 compounds without additives. And I will say that they do exist, but it's probably not gonna be around for much longer because of the changes in regulations and patent laws. Most of what was made that was pure is probably about to run out of stock. So I will say it's very important to communicate with your provider if you ever have questions about the way your formula looks or if you notice any changes, good or bad, when your formula changes. Now, there are other ingredients that can be used as additives to GLP-1s. And if you wanna hear more about those, then hit that follow button and I'll do a part two.